I was over at the White House yesterday, and aides were throwing things away and packing up for a move across the alley to the old executive office building for a couple of weeks of renovations. And one of the things I saw in a garbage can was a Time magazine cover, Is Truth Dead? What it really meant was, what the story was about is, does President Trump care about the truth? This was back in March after the Jim Comey firing. And it made me think, because that's really the big issue in the media today, um, continuing to sort of hammer away at the president's veracity. Now, I'm all for tough journalism, uh, holding leaders accountable. And there are times when the president uh, has either changed his story or his story appears to be at variance with the facts. This goes back to the first day in office and the size of the inaugural crowd. So this is not uh, to suggest in any way, shape, or form that the media shouldn't hold this president, any president, accountable. But lately, when I'm seeing, uh, when I open the papers, when I go on the web, when I look at uh, the chirons on the bottom of the screen, on, especially on CNN, MSNBC, it's all about uh, Trump and truth, Trump and credibility. Now, there are instances in which those are very legitimate questions. For example, the Washington Post reporting this week uh, that it was the president who drafted or dictated or at least was in charge of that original statement, the one that was so narrow and left out all the, all the pertinent information, about um, the meeting that his son had, Don Jr.'s meeting, uh, with the Russians that was purported to be about. They were told it would be about Hillary Clinton. And it seemed like if the president was indeed involved and his own aides say he weighed in that that was not the whole truth and nothing but the truth but then you get into this back and forth and you see it in the briefings uh, sarah sarah is the president lying is the president telling the truth uh he said that he'd gotten calls positive calls from the head of the boy scouts and the president of mexico uh and it turns out that they weren't phone calls the white house says uh, these were conversations that the president had with scout leaders and a conversation at the G20 with the president of Mexico. Look, presidents should be precise in their language, but that is not exactly a sort of five alarm, four Pinocchio uh, untruth. And it kind of goes to the, what we saw throughout the campaign, even before Donald Trump became president, which is the media are very literal and we like to be in the sort of the truth squatting mode. And so if you say something, and the president has actually joked about this, I don't want, I better be careful, or I'll get four Pinocchios. If you say something that is off in some significant way, uh, the press will call you on it. But one of the things that Donald Trump's supporters like about him is that he doesn't sort of parse every syllable and speak like a carefully controlled robotic politician who spent his whole life trying not to make news. So occasionally he will be sloppy with his language or get something wrong. And uh, people who support him don't care. They view the media as being nitpickers. And, and so there is this sort of fine line between uh, holding the president accountable when he is off on the facts or exaggerates or doesn't tell the story right or withholds information. That's all fine. But when you get down to the level of was it a phone call, was it a personal conversation, it does look like um, the degree of aggressiveness about the president's words um, far exceeds that of the way his predecessors were covered, except maybe Bill Clinton during impeachment. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the people who don't like this president are going to say right now, well, yeah, yeah, this president's different. Don't tell the truth. Of course, the media have to be very, very concerned about that. But when I see anchors just going off on why is it lie? Why do they lie? Why is the lying the first thing they do? In other words, stick to the specifics. Tell us where something didn't fit the facts. Call out the White House when the top officials, including the president, don't get the story straight. But to generalize into they lie all the time, they have no credibility, seems to me to edge into editorializing, uh, the kind of editorializing that we should be very, very careful about, especially at a time when the White House is so leaky and every conversation it seems the president has with a foreign leader leaks out. Well, those are true stories. We have transcripts. But how about questioning the motives of those who are undermining the boss by leaking them out?